Yeah, I got my black belt uh, in, in uh, karate. You got a black uh, belt at J. Crew is what you on, mean to say. Man, Fucking gotcha, bro. No, got you. Not, not kidding me. Some podcasts are slow. Bring a tree. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. I'm Brian Callen. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And uh, Will Sasso could not make it uh, today. In fact, he's at SeaWorld. Yep. Um, I think he's a huge Shamu fan. He wanted said to he wanted it. to go look at all the anim- animals is what he said. Yeah, he, wanted, he loves killer whales. He does. He's a moron. I never miss him when he's not on the podcast. No, but he's not here. So let's introduce our guest that we have filling we up for our Back to Popular back, Demand, back right? Back by Popular Demand, or I should say Black by Popular Demand. Shauna is hey, in the house. Hey, what the fuck is that? I was just Why, saying. Man, why would you? Hey, y'all, what's up? Shauna back in the house. Resident Roof, y'all. Brian, that's racist. I was being. I that's was mess- racist. I was a little that's racist. racist. I messed around. That's racist. Okay. That's a different. A r- r- oh. r- racist. R- oh, that's a new, okay. That's well, a new one. That's a new one. I she thought got, you got hey, kind of crazy right there. I'm so happy to be back with y'all. Y'all be like my baby brothers. I've come up in comedy with y'all. I've known y'all since I was doing. Co- I started nope. out in 1986. Yeah. Yep. And Catch a Rising Star. No, we know that. With yep. Bill Maher and Dennis Leary. Right. And how, Sinbad. How and now, let me. I don't. I ain't never. You. This motherfucker always trying to find I out know, my fucking he age. Is. He, he is. was one time he grabbed me by my titty. He was like real drunk. And he's like, Sean, how old are you? Let me count the rings on this nipple. Okay. No, I didn't. Can, I didn't get drunk, nor did I grab your titties. Okay. But I got that some. Stuff. Have a look at these brown oh, nipples. No, no, no. Have no, a no, look no. at these That's brown nipples. All right, Sean, Sean, Sean. Let's just let's just take it back a little bit. Okay. Let's calm down. Look. Now, the interesting thing about this is you have eleven comedy albums out. Okay. That's right. Now let's. The, the time you were on our podcast, the first time you were on our podcast, you actually got a lot of recognition and, and internet buzz off of that, way more so than your first 11 albums. I, and I owe it all to the 10-minute podcast, and this motherfucker, Will Sasso, I don't even know who the fuck he is. I, I, Nobody man, else does either. No, I don't know who the fuck this man is, but yeah. he beautiful, well, beautiful looking. I'd love to meet him one day. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's right. Man. These people been hitting me up on, the, the, I read your Twitters, yes. right. I read your yeah, iTunes, well, well, and everyone's like, Shana, 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 Shana. Shana, 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 hey, Shana, what? Shana, who? That's Shana, a, Shana, what Shana. You, Shana. Nobody. Okay. I guess I don't know. That don't yeah. really say that on Twitter. But so, um, right? What's okay. going on, Sean? So what is, yeah, what is going on? You I got you, you got you got some good feedback. I got what? some good feedback, and y'all, I got some amazing news. I can't even believe this, y'all. After so many years of the business, I've been doing this for twenty six, four twenty yard nine. To, yeah, I'm just nine under, under thirty oh, wow. years. I met. I started out uh, just opening for all sorts of motherfuckers, and finally they they giving me a development deal, y'all. We shoot the pilot. A pilot? We shooting like a sitcom, a oh. sitcom comedy pilot. Congratulations. Well, hold on Thank one second. Thank you. Hold on Thank one second. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, well. Um, you're doing a pilot, and well, it's, is it, so you're shooting the pilot. When are you shooting it? We go, we about to shoot it in a couple of weeks. Uh-huh. We actually so you already have it. you already have it written then? And you it's have all people, written. Is it I, called Shauna? Yeah, how'd you know it was called Shauna? Just a lucky guess. Yeah, it called oh, Shauna. Okay. That's what they was like, this brand recognition. Y'all got to just understand. Right. People be like, Shauna, hey, Shauna. Shut up And I'll be like I Leaned guess. up against the Shauna With like a Hey what the fuck I wish that there was Like an eye in my name So the eye could roll up I'll be like Get the fuck out of here Punch that eye out In the audience 3D and shit But the, These are motherfuckers Wrote it Sydney Green Green And Seth uh, 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 Sounds like uh, uh, so you have um, some guys. A lot of Jewish Like okay, college so you have boys some Jewish guys Yeah they right comedy here. writers They right. understand my voice yeah. But yeah. I tell they you do? what Actually okay. I brought some copy here oh. This some script That's in the, in the oh. script That's gonna be in the show oh, Sides is what they're called Yeah right? they call I side with you. No, 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 no. What? Listen, these are called sides. So and in this, actor, actors get sides yeah. and they go in and they read with the casting director to hopefully get the part. So and I'm is, saying, maybe the, my producer be listening and the, the network and y'all can maybe end up on my show. So, oh, this, so it's this, like you're, we helped you and you're helping us. That's right. Like. That's, very, that's very sweet. That's why so this, I, is that's why a scene, this is a scene from your sitcom? This is a scene from Shana I, and you stroke my hand, I stroke your cock. That's oh, how we going to do it. Whoa. That's how we going to do it, uh, boys. Uh, you take on. care that's of me. A, Yo, I take both y'all motherfuckers like I'm like the Don Weeder motherfucker holding up, holding up a bell, a bill, a bib. What the fuck that thing called with a barbell? But uh, with both your dicks, hold no. down, hold your motherfuckers up in the air. No, no, okay, no. listen, let's no, read this. No. Let's read this. All okay. Right. Oh, no, this is a family show because it's a, family a lot show. of stuff is you're, you're very explicit. Yeah, yeah, I'm very explicit. You but say what's your catch? Yeah, this is okay. a family show. Okay. This okay. A fa- okay. So, so let me let me set it. Read, I'll set it up. Yeah, but you please you read Mr. Stevens. Me, and, Chris. Yeah, Chris. I'll read Mr. 
And Brian, serious. you read Mr. Dan for Okay, now this is this scene takes place interior in the bank of the day. Shauna sits with the loan manager, Mr. Stevens, who I'm going to play. And here we go. Well, Shauna, I've reviewed your financial situation, and I'm sorry, but we can't give you a loan at this time. Say what? You don't qualify. I'm sorry. But I move all the way out here to rural Minnesota to take care of my niece and nephew after my sister died unexpectedly. And opening this bait and tackle shop on the lake is the only way I can provide for them and take over the mortgage payments of my dead sister's nice house on the lake. And now you're telling me I don't qualify? That's correct. Mr. Stevens, you about to qualify to have me pop a cap in your ass if I don't give me this loan. Excuse me? I'm just keeping it real. (laughs) That's it. I've had it. Get out. And another thing, if I have anything to do with it, I'll make certain you never approve for a loan here at Great Lakes Reserve and Trust Credit Union and Loan. Good day to you, ma'am. And just, ju- just in a ca- kindly man in a suit approaches, this is the bank manager, Mr. Danforth. And I'll play that. I'm the bank manager, Mr. Danforth. What's all the commotion? Mr. Dan... Oops, that's you. Uh, Mr. Danforth, this... <laughs> Mr. Danforth, this woman came in here to get a loan so that she can take care of her niece and nephew after her sister died unexpectedly and open a bait and tackle shop on the lake because it's the only way she can provide for them and take over the mortgage payments of her dead sister's niece, nice house on the lake. But her credit is terrible, and she threatened to shoot me in the bum. All right, calm down, Mr. Stevens. I'm sure we can find a solution here. Miss, what is your name? My name is Shana. Don't wear it out. Ha ha, delightful. Say, you look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? That depends. Have you ever heard of H.J. out behind this bank? I'll give him three today. Our girl got to get this loan somehow. I know. You're that comedian. Aha, that's it. Yes. I saw you open for George Wallace at the Giggle Room in St. Paul a few years back. I remember that, set. I gave George Wallace an H.J. in his dressing room after the show. Your observations on life as a black woman in white America were, how do you say... Off the chain. You made me and my family laugh very hard, Shauna. What can I say? I bring it to the stage. You gonna laugh when you come to my show. And laugh we did. Mr. Stevens, approve Shauna's loan right away. But, sir... I said approve it! (laughs) Shauna, you made my family laugh when we we came to see you perform stand-up comedy. It would be my honor as bank manager here at Great Lakes Reserve and Trust Credit Union and Loan to make sure that you have the money you need to take care of your family. Because family is the most important thing in the world. That's right, Mr. Dan. Forth, it is. Family is so important. I think we all learned a valuable lesson today about life, family, and keeping it real. Say, Shauna, what are you going to call your bait and tackle shop anyhow? What else? Keeping it real. Ha 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 ha. Yes, of course. Brilliant. Ha <laughs> ha. But with the real spelled R E E L, as in fishing reel. You really are something, Shauna. You've won me over also. <laughs> Let's get this paperwork going and get your loan approved. Thank you, gentlemen. How can I ever repay you? Your gift of laughter is repayment enough, Shauna. Thank you. So now that y'all want to HJ on behind the bank? Oh, Shauna. Shauna. You sure do keep it real. Yes, I would. (laughs) She keeps it real. Isn't that great? Uh, What do you think? Tell me. Now, be honest. Okay. You... I I just don't see where it's going. Well, no, but that's not really the problem with this. Uh, You said it's a family show, and you're talking about HJs? That's right. Okay, that's hand job, Yeah, but the audience... don't know. See, it HJ appeals on two levels. Like, appeal yeah, on two levels. Like, like Finding Nemo appealed to, like, kids, but then the adults see the adult humor. I don't see that correlation. And also, how did your sister die? She died, and then she leave me the niece and nephew, who I gotta take care yeah, but of. Yeah, okay. Well, it seems that kind of sad. We don't get into that. I just picked the kids up at the beginning of the show. They yeah, it's not funny, Sean. I, I'm not funny. Getting... I say all my catchphrases in this show. What uh, the uh, fuck? Listen, remember when we were on the first time? Don't get upset. Uh, hold on, right? Remember okay, when you said the first upset. time? Right. We should just and you said let's the ki- wrap this up. But no, and you said that we said comedy is more about than just catchphrases. It sounds like you're just excited to have a show and you want to implement your catchphrases in the show. Yeah. Yeah. That has nothing right. to do. Well, but no, my but that's not a good... are real. They real. I understand that your catchphrases are real, like keeping it real and all that shit. But oh no, Shauna, Shauna, keeping it my. Here's another. Real. Okay, there's another problem. Right. This and scene that's... is four pages long. It's four pages long. Hey, Brian and Chris, let me stroke off your dog. No, 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 no. no yeah, no, that's no. okay. I'm gonna do that Stop joke it. on stage. Out. No, hey, don't. What are you writing down? Don't me, write that down. I'm, I'm subscribing my pants. Down. Let me read this here. What is oh. it? Uh, subscribe on iTunes, the let, 10 Minute Podcast, let go of my and the pants. Stitcher Radio. Hold on, let me grab that. Let go. And uh, let Stitcher go. Smart Radio. Hey, on on your oh, smartphone. I ain't got a sm- my phone drop out of high school, y'all. Let, <laughs> let go of my pants. And check us out on Twitter, 10 Minute Podcast. Brian, come on. Let me stop it. Let me stop it. 
Take your Number boots. Come on. Turn. Uh, suck my titty. Suck my titty. Suck my titty. Uh, suck my titty. Uh, Take my titty in your mouth. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to stroke it. Give me that. Shana. Give me that dick. Give me that dick. Give me that. Do you guys think that if I was like a walk-on mm-hmm. for the Lakers that I'd make it? No. Like Jeremy Lin? No, I don't care about, you know, everyone talks about Jeremy Lin right now. It's getting me super heated, Yeah, but mad. like, I could just walk oh, on. I'm a guy. Heated, doesn't I'm matter. A guy. Doesn't, doesn't maybe doesn't it'll matter. work out. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long it lasts. Stop fucking singing along. That's why you live in podcast. Guys, fuck up the song every... There should be a ring at no, the end of that. Don't there do should the be. Okay. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. My name is Chris D'Elia. And I'm Brian Callen. And I got to just say that I'm so blessed to be here. And I feel so lucky to have you guys as friends. Thank you, Chris. Weird. Thank you, Will. What are you doing? For being here. Hey, you are. weird police. No, 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 no. I know. I know. You see what happens? Okay. It's so funny because we're yeah. not used to giving each other compliments. I, I got to just tell you quickly um, over the weekend, I went to a Buddhist retreat. And the uh, Rinpoche, the Rinpoche, what? Um, the Why? Rinpoche said to us, he's the, the high priestess. Said he, he said, uh, always learn to refocus the eye and look at what's right and not what's wrong. And most of us in the West look at what's wrong and not what's right. And I've really had a seismic shift in my consciousness, I have to say. See? It's so funny. I love. See, now I can get mad at that, but instead I'm going to choose to laugh at it. Oh, I'm just so sleepy. that's hilarious. That you're, it was funny. Through, it was funny, yeah. Like, I had a life-changing experience okay, and he's so. snoring. Well, that's hilarious. Yeah. Like, it's usually it's I'd, be funny, like, yeah. I'd be like, what a fucking asshole. But right. I'm, but I, but I'm so, I'm, that's hilarious. Yeah, you're the, it's you're funny. the fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Again, so that's awesome. But and that doesn't make you mad. Well, no, because it doesn't. Because I, I embrace it, and there's such a negative overtone, undertone to that. But what I choose to so do if is, I say you sh- your fucking beard is patchy, <laughs> I go it is patchy. So oh. you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess and it's so. not patchy, and it's not patchy, and I know it's oh, not hey, patchy. Brian, Brian, it's a little I mean? patchy. But, hey Brian, yeah. I have something to add to that. Sure. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, and that doesn't make you mad, just the way no, he's doing it. it would that you make have a patchy mad. beard like, and you're boring. No, before the retreat, it might have been made me murderous, you know. But, right. but now it makes me fucking happy because okay. you guys are my friends, and okay. I want to compliment you. I want to compliment. Oh, okay. I want to take a minute to compliment both of you. Okay. Don't do that. Our no, listeners don't want to. I want to show you how this works. L- well, you, I, I want to hear what he has to you, say. You, Chris okay. Delia, yeah, thank you. Are so ridiculously talented, and you know what I think when I look at you? You've got that long hair, six foot two. You're one of the best looking guys in com- your best looking guy in comedy, for my money. Wow. And by the way, if you had to play a prince, if they were looking for a prince, yeah, that you 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 could play a prince, and you wouldn't need makeup or even a cape. Wow. Yeah, I mean because you're you have, fucking you with have, me, really? No, I'm not. You have a fucking you have so much raw talent, and you also have such a a deep seated sexual energy wow and, yeah women go crazy for you thank and, you that's very yeah, nice and i'm you. proud to have you as a friend well, I mean, thanks, you're, you're incredible and and you know i i those are really parts nice of me things. wishes i could be like you and wow. will those are nice things will, you said about let him. me talk about you really you are what? you first of all this whole podcast was your idea you're, it was. you're it you was. come up you're so creative uh-huh. you're you you have this business mind you have this creative mind you're an incredible musician oh, you're thanks. an incredible Jeez. comic you are and very funny. i'm just I'm blessed not, i'm not like a comic i'm more like an actor yeah and you're a great Actor. Actor, You're a great actor. See what he just did? What? He just tried to deflect he tried his own to take compliment. my compliment away from, from me. Right. Uh, because he's not used to living in a positive space. And so what I'm going to do is help you guys. Okay. So I'm going to ask you. I'm going to challenge you. No. I'm ask so you I'll do challenge. one about Will. I'll do one about Will. You do one, and then you're going to do one about me. Go okay, ahead. cool. You're a very uh, moral person. <laughs> I really appreciate you as a friend. I think you're a really strong individual. You always know what you want, and you get what you want. Jesus. And I think that for uh, my money, he's honestly, he's one of the best guys around in a true, true talent one of the most wow. hilarious guys i've thanks. ever met God, yes. thanks, Chris. Yeah. Well, look, I, you're I so say, good at it i would say the same about you morally you know chris not a lot of people you know know him personally he's such a funny guy right. and he has this this funny bit you know the sort of the way he is out there mm-hmm. I, I, as a comedian that you have to be but he's really a, a very uh morally st- just a moral statue really he's comes from a great family he has yeah, a great he relationship about you. Now, so make sure you don't his, copy now make sure you don't copy his mother right? and his brother well, no, thank you i have a good family is what you're saying but he's we're similar though and i think that's why we're friends probably we're friends very funny guy he's He's always quick to, to add a joke, but when I need advice or you know I, I want to know I want a moral compass to go to, I you wow. know, I talk to this guy, I'll call him up, I'll awesome. see what's up. And, Thanks, but awesome. like we're actually that's you know, really we're cool. Of best you, of friends. Okay, so now you're, here's your challenge, Chris. What do you like about me? Um, okay, um, um, you, Brian. Yeah. What do I say about Brian? He, you're. I mean, if I'm gonna look at you, I can just be like, you have. I mean, for your. Take your time. uh, No, I know, but if I'm going to... Okay, you have... You know what? Okay, here's one. 
You're yeah. very you're the for how you are, your mm-hmm. stature and your body mm-hmm. and your physique. Mm-hmm. You've mm-hmm. got you mm-hmm. have wear good clothes for that. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to give you a second. Like, I'm going to give okay. you a second to think of something even more sort of grounded. Right. And Will, let me turn it to you. What do you like about I me? got one right away. Go ahead. What? You you have very thin wrists. Yep. But you how do. would that be a, that how would that goes be along considered with mine. A, how would that be considered a compliment? Oh, it's not. I love what you're saying, but how would that be considered? Oh, you a want a compliment? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, well, so you went negative. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you wanted. No, I want a compliment. I okay, want you okay. to say, right, I'm, no, I'm teaching can... you how to refocus. Okay. How about this? How about this? Your beard isn't patchy. It's just choosing where it wants to grow. That's um, certainly better than patchy because my beard is either Cause, actually. Because remember, we were saying one. negative. Remember, we were saying negative stuff yeah. about your beard. You, I'm going to flip that and say your beard just kind of. you that I will okay, and like, I'm, I'm going to let you take even more time. What do you want me to say to you? I want you to t- give, give me an compliment. For example, uh, I'm I'm, a, I'm incredibly charismatic, right? You have. You want me to say that? Well, yeah, I'd like you to say that because I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, what you, if I don't want to? St- well, hold on. Why won't you want? Why don't you want to say it? Say it. But it's it's inorganic if he just says. Well, I mean, you told him what to say. All right, you got. You're incredibly. You got, you're okay, incredibly. Well, maybe you then, got a good, Maybe then I say to you, you're not. Maybe you're not that talented. And by the way, what? you know, your negative attitude might be one of the reasons that the three Stooges may not do well. Okay, well that's not. Well, that, but people don't, pick up on it. So, okay, so I'm trying really to help weird. you. No, okay, don't, don't attack so it makes the movie. Seven dollars. A lot of. You know now. What are you now, talking about? Instead of seven hundred million dollars, now 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 we got to look at ourselves. A lot right? of people worked very hard on the movie. Don't disparage they sure the did. film. They were good and, people. And, and the and the leg, and the you know the legend of the, the three Stooges and. And who they are comedically. It'd be not terrible right. though if your negative attitude brought. Okay, so what do you want me to say? You're I want incre- you to tell me that I have that I have incredibly very charismatic, and I'm really athletic and very intelligent. Okay, way- I'll say that you are very intelligent and incredibly charismatic. If you tell me that my um, that my calves look like someone uh, tried to stuff a crescent roll and a green pepper up into my leg. All right, I don't. I mean. Really, you know, what is it? Because like, I have big muscular calves. Well, there's a better way to compliment your calves. Okay, all right. Look, Brian, you you have a charisma about you. Uh, sure. Okay. Good, good, How's good, that? good, good, so, good. Because I don't want to take away, I don't want to say you're not a prince, right? And I could. Well, I could. But then it wouldn't be sincere. Well, because he's behaving now a little bit like a peasant and not a prince, isn't okay. he, right now? Just okay. Tell him what he's do you charismatic. mean? Isn't he? Just tell him he's charismatic. And what okay. about, yeah. Look at, look at my shoulders. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a tank top, right? Right, you're wearing a tank so top. So what's going on with my shoulders? Yeah, they're they're pa- paler. They're paler. No, 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 no. They're, well, I don't get it. They're, good they're, stuff. What's going on with my shoulders? They're uh, they're good. They're symmetrical. I, I they're symmetrical. Yeah, they're, they're, and they look like if you had to describe a fruit. Um, uh, you guys, I can run really fast for my size. Like I'm a big guy, but okay. I run really fast. Is that um, a compliment? Okay, fruit. That's a compliment fruit. to you. Your you're fruit. not complimenting me. Tell me, tell me that I run really fast. Tell me that I'm a huge guy, but I run really fast, and I'll tell you that I'll tell you something nice about your wrists. Okay, I have trouble with that because I haven't seen you run. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Up. Your your shoulders are fruity. You're fruity. What? Do, I, I don't understand what you were trying to say. My shoulders look like ripe pomegranates Pom- or something like that. Right. All right. Your shoulders do. Your shoulders and look like was, ripe pomegranates. Yeah. There you okay, go. So and then, they're round and muscular or something like that. And I look. Saying. And you're round and muscular. Yeah. And so I look. And I look like a. What? I'm not. I'm not round and muscular. Your shoulders are round and muscular, there you go. and I look like a what? You look like a prince. There we go. So, okay, and I could play a, a, a vampire. I could play a vampire. Okay, in, I could be in Twilight. Hey, guys, one time when I was a teenager, I was just messing around on the farms, and I, I jumped on a cow's back and put him in a sleeper hold and killed killed it. Okay, now. Um, that's I don't know if that's a compliment or what. That's just kind of weird. But, or is that um, a, it's a lie? compliment or to is me. that a lie? No, I really did it. I put I pressed down on the snout and pulled up on his throat. That's I understand really how it would work, but yeah. I pushed down on his snout, uh, okay. and I bit on his eye. Okay, so God. that's also animal cruelty. Um, so is I, that what I, you I wanted take, to I achieve? kind of take away the moral thing that I was telling you about earlier, because that's not cool to do it. Well, you're not. Own. Okay. I'm not what? Oh, you're not that... I mean, that's not funny what oh, you just said. But so I'm I not guess trying you're not to be funny. funny, so it's oh, like, haha, hey, I'm just trying hey, to be funny. Hey, I'm not hey, mission to... fucking accomplished. You're not funny. You just fucking were not. You said, I'm not going to be funny, and you're not funny. You, Chris. Know, you guys are a couple of assholes. All right, well, oh, you know, you're being a dick. And, and, you know what? Like, I, and I'm going to listen to somebody so, with a patchy fucking hey, face. Yeah, yeah you don't have a patchy face. And you know, my, my guru, my fucking Buddhist guru, should have seen these assholes. And and then you realize that some Buddhism doesn't work for everybody because you guys are assholes. You're a cocksucker. And by that, I mean, you could fit your fucking cock-sized wrist and head-sized fist into your Speaking mouth. Speaking of cocks. You got cock hands and wrists. Speaking of cocks, man. Hey, Will, 
when you were fucking that cow or whatever you said. Yeah. How was it? And then also, how was it when the cow fucked you? Because that's obviously what happened. Give well, me five. Good job. Give me Don't five. give him five. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for listening to the five. 10 Minute Podcast and for subscribing on iTunes. And we're on Stitcher Radio and Twitter at Shut 10 up, Minute Pod. Dick and fuck. this didn't cow fucking fuck, work. Fuck cock you. sucking cock fucking cock wrists. Brian, Got fucking you. Fucking did I do what yet? Did you start the fucking podcast? I started the... We're starting the okay, podcast. Okay, well, you gotta tell me so I don't seem like an idiot. Some podcasts are slow And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast Hey, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And Brian Callen is not with us today. He's actually has an important meeting. He's auditioning for Hangover 3, which I think is interesting because he's offered the first two roles in the first two movies. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's not with us that today. That is weird. That is weird. His, his, uh, his stock is falling. But in his place, he sent a friend of his. Uh, and So allow me to introduce this gentleman. We weren't quite expecting him. But he is a, uh, a professor of zoology at the university in Cape Town. Cape Town University in uh, is South Africa. South Africa, yeah. Yes. And this is Usu Ngole. Yes. So my my name, the, the way to pronounce my name is Usu Ngole. Usu. Usu. And it's a great Usu. Usu. Well, now we didn't know we didn't know he was coming though, right? Yes. No, we were expecting uh, like another comedian. Or yeah. Something. Well, it's, Brian, when Brian said that he wasn't going to be here, we thought maybe he's going to send a comedian in his place, maybe a good buddy of his, like Dove Davidoff, a funny guy or someone like that. But um, it, it's really great to have you. It's my great, great pleasure to be here in America. Okay. And doing this. Cool. Well, Thank the Ten Minute Podcast so is for yeah. Having me. Oh, great. Well, thanks for coming. The Ten Minute Podcast is all about having fun. Yes. We like to keep it real and fresh, and yes. and so you know we can talk about whatever. Sure. In Africa, we always and say that if you want to have fun, then just watch the ostrich as he runs. You really watch yes. the ostrich as he runs? Yes. What's fun about that? That's fun. Because they are so free. The ostrich can run many miles an hour. <laughs> sure. Right, sure. Yeah, yes. but, but, but who gives a fuck? Though? I am... But why is that fun, I guess? I yeah. Think. Well... I should explain. No, you, but just make it quick. Yeah. I am an ostrich expert. Okay. And okay. so that is my area of focus. Well, and the our, great question oh that many people have asked, yeah. why if the ostrich yeah. is a bird, yeah. can it not fly? No, well, right. you know, here's the interesting thing about us and, and our the answer ac- must oh, okay. lie somewhere in our ancestors. You see? I guess. The ostrich um, you know, comes from different, Usu? Usu? A different species uh, Usu? of Usu? You know, our, dinosaur. Okay. Our, our, see, our area of expertise here is to have fun. Chris and I and Brian, yeah. we like to talk. There's a dynamic that happens. that we, yes. we're, we're, we're actually great friends in real life. So. Yeah. You know, do you know? We're, speaking, we're just having fun. Speaking hey, so of Chris, great friends. Chris, I talked to that. The ostrich mates for life. Is That's that right? great. Speaking of which, Always. Can, but Usu, are, can they I... St- are, they are monogamous animals. Yes. Are they? And That's... we can learn a great deal from the ostrich. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, that was great. Now, That's great. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us. Usu, now, what do you think about that this, was chiming great. in on this? Because Will's been trying to see this girl, and finally they've been texting back and forth. Yeah. And like, she, the, I'm excited. You, She's you hung nice out with girl. her one time. Yeah, we hung out. We went out on a date, and I think it went all right. And, you know, she was, uh, she was wearing something she was wearing something kind of hot and revealing oh cool as long, so, as so, long so that as must mean she's not, into you as right? long as she was not wearing ostrich skin do you know oh, okay. that all the people in europe yeah. spend a great deal of money for ostrich skin boots yeah. and mm-hmm. purses and sometimes even car seats really this no i i guess must, i understand that but so this but, must stop so what do you think about uh, the 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 what do you think about the dating situation in uh, America? I mean, have you have you met any girls? Have you? I have no time for dating because all of my Jesus time Christ. is spent on ostriches. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I thought so. So um, did you, do you know that Chris, the ostrich uh, beak is almost the same composition as Ivory? You, this is a comedy mm-hmm. podcast. I'm gonna yeah, have to we're stop just trying to have uh, a good time. This is a comedy podcast. We like to have a good time. We like to talk about fun stuff. And so maybe if you how instead of talking even about know, the, how do you even know? Yeah, Brian? how do you know Brian? Well, I, I'm glad you asked this because yeah, you're you glad know, I asked all the Brian questions. Brian is a great comedian. Yeah, and I uh, we have a great following for him in South Africa. Oh, is that right? Really? Yes. I didn't realize. Has, has that, he ever actually. done stand up? Kind of yes, he's done. He's done uh, stand up uh, in. In Africa, 
And uh, the, a great many people, we call him Itwadumila. What is that? <laughs> what does that mean? That means one who greets with great comedic fire. That's, uh, there's a word for that? that yes. <laughs> really? The one who yes. meets for great comedic fire? Itwadumila. Itwadumila. <laughs> yes. Itwadumila? Yes. You see, he is a great soul. Hey, Chris, how's everything else going? It, it's going good. You know, like we what, just... Like, how you doing? You just wrapped Whitney? Yeah, we just wrapped Whitney. A so it's been ago, going to, yeah. Whitney's a television show. It actually is going to be airing in, in South Africa. Uh-huh. Um, and and uh, I have a movie coming out that's going to be... called The Three Stooges, uh, right? The Three Stooges. It's going to be Stooges. opening in many countries across the this world. Is, this, is a, this is a movie that uh, was made in 1930. Okay, okay. Well, well no, no, yeah, it sure. Was, uh, it was a series of why, shorts why, that why, were made through the 30s to the 50s. But why would I watch... Something that had been done a long time ago. <laughs> because it's... <laughs> when I have a chance to always watch ostriches. Oh, don't uh, talk about the see? ostriches. You know, Please. the ostrich oh, is very often... For fuck's sake. Look, look, hey, let me hey. see. U- Usu. Ulu, yes. what's your name? No. Usu. 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 Okay, look. Look, I, I, I have a great deal of respect for what you do. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 listen. But can you hear me out, though? It's pleasure to be I'm, here. Yeah, but there's you're a but. Great, okay, there's a but. Listen to me. Listen to Chris. Listen to me, please. I have a great yes. deal you know of respect for what you got. If you fucking say one more it, fucking please. thing about the fucking ostrich, I will brain you right now. You Just got me? The, you fucking feel me? And he's gonna be. You're gonna be. I'll fucking, rip your fucking blonde hair right the fuck. You got goofy ass blonde hair. Yes, because and a little well, fuck. You got no chin. Look at the way you people. respond to threats, dude. Yes. Well, you just be oh, when? okay. When? What about the way you're fucking? He's threatening you. I'm fucking threatening you, dude. Uh, I'll what do you know you, about threats? Beat you up. It's very what do you difficult. know about threats? It's very difficult for me to be to respect your threats because I have been on the side of the opposite side. Of an angry ostrich. Please, oh no, God. God damn and it. did you know? It's so annoying you know when you just fucking everything you relate everything. The ostrich goes. can kick with the force of no, a I didn't. small car. I don't even know what the fuck you're, but no, well, I don't. Well, I don't care because I, will, I don't care. I will tell you a great story. Oh. There was no, a it's lion. not going to be a it's great It's not going to be a great story. Please there just. There was a great lion who charged an ostrich once. We were watching. And the ostrich, instead of running away, he kicked this ostrich in his head and crushed his head. And the lion do your students, just died. Do your students ever... And so when you make threats to me, okay. it's a great pleasure for me because okay. I don't I don't do, find myself all right. afraid. You're the most right, boring right. person I've ever fucking met. And no, I've, been, I've been dragging my piss crank around this shit pebble called Earth for quite a while. But you, sir, are the most fucking mundane human being I've ever fucking met and, and do your students ever just get in a fucking circle around you and kick you in your fucking face your right. endless fucking talk That's box okay. you well, fucking will. walking will. talking will. piece of shit with your, I fucking hate your voice and your accent you know, will. I will. want will. you to fucking shut up you know what's funny about that if I may no please don't I or, had my I students just don't, don't I don't. had my students form a circle around me oh. and we played ostrich no you didn't yes they were kicking like an ostrich and you know if you can learn to kick like an ostrich, then oh, no Jesus. one will bother you because it's a great way to keep your enemies at a distance. Do you know anything about any other animals? Can you yeah. tell us anything what about, about a, any a fucking animal? Zebra. 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 What zebra. about a zebra? How fast does a zebra run? Well, I know that zebras can run almost as fast as an, Don't say as as an, an ostrich. ostrich. Right. See, I understand. how the fuck do you make a living? Just all you do is sit and you talk about ostriches. You've got a beautiful tweed quote here yes. and you like... How it's do you weird. Even make have a you, dollar? Have you ever, like, what is it about you and ostriches? How did you first get in, involved with that? That's so weird. Chris, that don't just, ask him about well, ostriches. Maybe they'll For fucking mother, derail it. I will tell you, I was a student of zoology, mm-hmm. and many zoologists can speak about a great deal of Can animals. you talk quicker? Can you talk quicker? It's only yes. 10 minutes. Yes. You're not ta- What do you mean, yes? That was the longest That's yes you've so done all, all day. I can speak as quickly as you like. But you know. Mm. Isn't it important to it's take our time? One of the things I always find and I learn every day is when I watch the ostrich, oh. how much time he takes with everything. What the oh, fuck thank are you talking about? Goodness, this you is over. You just said an ostrich is so fast like a car and then you said it takes its time with everything. You're just fucking saying willy-nilly about ostriches. Usu, get the fuck out of here yeah. right now well I want Before to thank Chris you it has been a great pleasure for me shut up to be here with you I'm sorry if you are agitated. leave I want you to I want you to leave or I'm gonna ball my fists and beat on you 
Uh, I'm going to break your skin with my fists. Well, Will. Do you, do you know that the ostrich does not have fists, but... <sighs> no, I know. Of course, it, it has, has fucking, fucking wings. wings. Yes. It has wings and feet. Yes. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. We Thanks have for learned a great deal about subscri- ostriches. We don't want to learn shit about fucking ostriches. I don't like the way you smile. Ostriches. I don't like the way you smile, bro. Did you know we, that this accomplishment for, of an ostrich egg is 71 for, centimeters? For subscribing you put on, us on iTunes, and, and we're on Stitcher Radio. Check us out on Twitter at 10MinPod, and Usu... <laughs> Don't thank talk. You. And no, no. Don't say thank, thank you. you. We don't like you. We don't like you. We don't like you. Yes. We want you to go. No, away. not yes. We don't. Yo, why are you eating that so loudly? How's your well, How's your apple? It's my favorite fruit, man. Apples make your junk taste so good. What? Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to Ten Minute Podcast. Hey, welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris D'Elia. The way you're... Sna- it's just so obnoxious. Can we just... Why are you eating it like that? Say your name. I'm Brian Callum. Right. Well, why'd you have to eat that now? Yeah. Apples are so welcome good for you. And they make you junk. Uh, Tastes like bubble gum. No. <laughs> no, what? they don't. Yeah, no. Don't be one of those guys. Because there's always guys that are like, oh yeah, pineapple. Yeah, it makes your... Yeah. Uh, pineapple does better. Pineapple uh, makes your thing apple? like this. Celery oh. makes you, you, you shoot with a apple. more... Apple makes you shoot further. Cake Apple makes shrinks you, your cake, prostate. Cake makes you it shrinks your prostate. So cake makes the, you take taste your penis tastes like cake if you rub it all over your penis. Dude, have you heard that one? That if you have to, if you if you well, actually take cake and yeah, rub it, it all over your sense. penis, it makes your penis taste. Yeah, it makes like cake. sense. But Brian, just eat your fucking apple. Don't. But hurry up and eat to, it. Stop eating it into the fucking microphone. No, oh, I want to share this with people because. Women love they I don't know, when your junk tastes like bubble gum. Why but wouldn't they? Bubble gum is great. That's true, but why does it, how does apple make you taste like bubble gum? It does something chemically to your to your downstairs area. So it's like a gift. We were we were thinking that <laughs> Here's what we were thinking. We are thinking that today we would uh, dedicate the show to the ladies and do a show just for the ladies. Well, since we started out. Yeah, so. well, things have started off a little weird, truly. But, um, you know, on, on the 10-minute podcast, things tend to skew a little male because we're so manly. We're such manly guys uh, that it just can't help but be a boys club. Um, but today we, we want our female listeners out there to know that we are thinking about you. We want the show to be for you, too. And Brian wants you to um, put your mouth on his bubble gum. <laughs> There's nothing like that. What? And there's nothing like what? You've you've tasted a guy no, bubble gum? Gross, but right, well, just, there's nothing like what then? Just to just just to give a woman your essence like that. Just like just be like, here you go. This is for you. What do you mean? Actually say that? Yeah, yeah that's what, you, you actually say that during when sex. You climax like that, you're just what like, you yeah, oh, here you go. Merry Christmas in July or whatever. Wait, you say it in uh, July? Yeah, or sometimes you're just like, here, taste this filthy sweet. <laughs> Why are you, don't do that with your hands. Why, because I thumb off? Yeah, yeah you're thumbing yeah, off with your thumb. Yeah, use my thumb. Sometimes you can be like this too. You can be like, oh, here come the white sweet worms. White mm. sweet worms, bubblegum <laughs> worms. If a girl, if you had sex with a girl for the first time and you said that, she that. would think you were fucking clinically insane. Well, Here come my sweet white worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I, I always say this. Shit. I always say, oh, I'm going to fall. Why? Why? <laughs> and then Why? I fall on them. Oh, you're you know a big guy, say? dude. Yeah. How? I say, mayonnaise sandwich. Oh, gross. And I that's fall not, on them. That's not you know safe. I, so wait. So then you, you shoot. You, you get, it's on them. And then you go mayonnaise sandwich. And it just like yeah, that. Yeah, and I go, you're a hot dog bun. I'm a, I'm a French loaf. That's, and I fall. Ew. That's not a trap. That makes fall. me want to. You know I what I do? On. You know what makes I do? Me want to throw up. You, you know what I do? I go. This is exactly what I do every single time. Whenever I have a climax, I always go like this and I say it like this. I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> Why? Is that, I don't know. Does the girls like that? Why I don't you, know. But you're not con- from Connecticut. I know I'm not. But I just look so at them and, I, and the face. You guys can't see the face I do, but I kind of do like the face that all sitcom stars do yeah. on a, a poster. Like, like what the heck? Yeah. And I you go look like that. But I say you look like the long-haired guy in the Whitney billboard. Well, no, that is me. But, oh, that is but what you, I do sorry. is, and then when I climax, I, I go like that. I do that face, and I say, "I'm from Connecticut." <laughs> What do they say? That's they you, you never do, really say anything. You but do they, look a little... It, it, for our listeners, he looks a little like Johnny Galecki in Big Bang Theory without the glasses when he does that face. Right, right. He's kind of... I'm from Connecticut. Yeah, it's pretty God cool. God bless you. That's I say that sometimes. My knees! 
Why do you say <laughs> my that? knees? Yeah, my knees. All right, okay. So how is this for the? I don't understand. I don't know how this is for the ladies. So hey, let's get back ladies, on track here. Ladies, here. This is what I want to say. Ladies, help us out. <laughs> what do you want the show to be about? Oh, there's no one here but us. Yeah, no, it's just so us. we have to deliver a show for the ladies. I think that women want to connect emotionally, and I think that they want to. Um, they want the real you. You know, a lot of times we tend to it attach sort of a construct on on you know where we play a masculine guy and they play a feminine guy right. but i think what women want feminine girl you said feminine connect. guy you I said mean, feminine, feminine guy. girl right. but i think they just want to connect on a human level women always want kind of a connection and yeah but men, it's hard nowadays women can't really do that because the world's full of douchebags and bitches so you don't know if you're like a good person and not a douchebag and you're out there with a chick who's a good girl and not a bitch then maybe okay. you have well, a shot yeah, but, 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 but usually what happens is is i'm a good guy and i'm hanging with a bitch okay well or sometimes i think a chick is a bitch but she's not. She's a good girl. Right. And then I'm being a fucking douchebag because okay. I think she's a fucking bitch. It's like and no can... one gets no one gets anywhere when right. that happens. You're coming off a little bit harsh, but yeah, it's like it's, it's like you impressive. trying to you're trying to beat the bitch by being a douchebag before her bitch. No, 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 no. That's the fucking problem oh, with these douchebags. That's, douche the, problem. Bags. that's okay. the problem with these douchebags is because they go, well, I'm going to be a bigger fucking douchebag. And Brian's right. You just got to be yourself. And the the thing what what, what it is is uh, it come, it's it's all about being yourself no matter what in in the face of bitchness. All right. And and just making sure that you're giving to the world, giving your gift. But you, you keep pushing, you keep like punching bitch. Yeah, the way you're saying bitch, you're saying so aggressive. bitch. Like, yeah. just no, say, because I say it like NWA. I say it like Ice Cube and Drain. Well, you don't really say it like that, though. It also sounds because, like you don't like women. Yeah. I love that. women. I love women. And I think uh, that we are, as a species, uh, about to return to harmony with between men and women. Well, now and you I just know sound that, like a I know that I've color. gone I've gone through my own uh, little bit of a metamorphosis. Sure, I grew up with what I like to call now FTS, which is fat teenager syndrome. Sure, maybe the girl in high school didn't like me, even though I was on television while I was in high school. Mm. And hey, I was captain of the football team. Okay. But she never, right. I didn't well, get laid okay. until I was about 20 or 21. Right. Well, well, listen, Will, you yeah. sound dangerously close to blowing up a building. No. Yeah, no, I'm you not, really no, do. And no, I, but now, but now, uh, I'm, you're I'm, holding on to the ch- both chairs with both hands. It's no, like, I'm what not. are you doing? I'm not. Your f- okay, knuckles but are you are, but no, I'm not. Y- y- I'm just, your face is so red. <laughs> um, it's because it's hot in here right well, now. It is you very seem hot in mad here, you're or mad something. And you, okay, I'm not look, mad. So, anyway, ha- the fact this is for the ladies. This podcast is yeah. 10 minutes. So far, it's been seven minutes. Nothing has been about the ladies. <laughs> so, why don't you guys just. What do you do to... Uh, I connect with them. I talk right. right so you, you're saying is you connect with them I connect with emotionally. Them. Yeah. You show them you. I don't push anything. You don't... I, okay. I, I, I get into their space. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm doing right now? This is a seductive voice. Well... And I listen and, um, and I thank them. Okay. And then I and then then, then I put a peel. I just peel my piece out. No, don't see do that. that. The whole thing is like the. No, I'm saying that's what you're saying. I'm saying that when you, you say don't, "God don't bless go, you," no, that's no, not going to work. Don't go into the sex right away. Right. Connect with them first. Laugh with them for how many dates? Treat them like a queen. For how many dates? For at least half the date. Okay. And then what? And then you know, peel out your junk you know, and all, say, "This is for you." You what you're like saying that, you that is exactly how you did it you know all know, this is for you that's, that's exactly what i thing. said that's same exactly thing. what you I know said. all joking aside what i really enjoy doing around ladies is not saying anything mm. because that's i'm a verbose person and uh, you know i make my living uh talking as an actor you're also a spaz and completely ridiculous when it comes to women because you don't know how to behave around them now i i no don't want to be rude that's not true but at all. that is very true no you that's not true at all spaz i'm not a fucking spaz i'm not trying to be rude I'm no, not trying I'm to be not. rude, Fuck but you're. Uh, let me, let me, no, I'm, I'm awesome around women. Women are very, very comfortable around me. No, you don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't know are. how to speak. You, the, the, the minute you get around women, you're like, this is Will. This is Will on a date. This is Will yeah. on a date. Um, you know, like fucking. <laughs> I got my, can I have a pickle? <laughs> That's Will when on a dinner date. When the fuck I ever said that? That's Will on a dinner date. <laughs> I would never say that. Do you that. have cheese? <laughs> you're, making that, you're making that, that Connecticut face that again. Is, that's such a good impression of Will. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. But that's I'm why a, you got to take a girl back to her house or your house. You treat her like a lady. You do some soft poetry in her ear. You say, I'm a wonderful jaguar. What? I'm whispering in your ear. I love you. We're both beautiful people. And then right when you climax, you say, I'm from Connecticut. Uh, don't, no, why the Connecticut thing again? So why not? Gross. I'm, a, so I'm like a philosopher. Why not? Hey, uh, hey, gals. We hope you enjoyed the, <laughs> the show for you. Oh, man. I'm actually, I'm actually really good on a date. You know what I always say on dates? Don't ever say anything. Don't share anything on a date that they can't just Google on their own. 
Or in my case, IMDb, because I'm a very, very successful actor. All right. So, uh, hey, by the I way, say, if you do the I'm from Connecticut thing, tweet us, because I want to hear about it. I say to women, I usually say, as long as you do everything I fucking say, and, and, and you understand that I am your king, we're going to get along incredibly well. And no woman. It, it, and I like my sandwiches toasted. <laughs> thanks for listening like to the 10 minute on the podcast. Fucking floor, and uh, thanks and you for. You have to groom my dog. Thanks for subscribing <laughs> and listening on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. And check us out on uh, Twitter at, at 10 Min Pod. I'm from fucking Connecticut. Spaz. You're a spaz. I'm not a fucking spaz. You're a spaz How about dude. I fucking separate every bone in your fucking body? Don't get aggressive. Uh, this fucking sucks, dude. What's the matter? What's wrong? No, it's just. I'm, my fucking. What? My, it t- turns out that my dick is too big. Oh, you're joking yeah, it's around? so stupid. No, it's not I'm not. I actually wish I was. It's so fucking dumb. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. I wanted, I, I, the doctor, I, I went to the doctor because I had this really sharp pain in my leg. Well, that's and serious. I go, yeah, I, I know. I, I thought it was really bad. What it was is like it, it felt like it was sciatic. But I go there, and he's just like, "Oh, well, I think I see. This is not that common, but you know, your your penis is really, really." So long. you're joking right now? No, I'm not, dude. I wish I was joking. Wait, that's wait. a funny joke. No, no, welcome it's not, to the ten, it's not funny. Welcome to the ten and, minute podcast. And he was my just name is Will Sasso. Digging into my leg, and that's what caused the oh, leg pain. So yeah. Stupid. I know. It was so dumb. It was you're so dumb. dumb. Okay. No, 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 no. The what are you wearing a holster, asshole? Did you talk? You talked to and the doctor. And that's Crystalia. You talked to the doctor. I'm, this is Brian the kid. Callen. And that's I'm Brian Chris, the boy. Callen. Not the kid. Crystalia. Don't say, don't, I'm Crystalia. Yeah, but my Nick fan, my fans know me as Brian the Brian kid. Brian the boy. Callen. The kid. Don't your, say the boy. Your fan. Look, guys, I got a. Um, your your well, fan. I feel like I what? Gotta, well, what was, why are you fucking holding your wrong? face? I just. Um, I feel like I, I need to get something off my oh, chest. Oh, do you want to talk about your dick, too? No. Because the did, listeners no. really, everyone wants to hear serious. about it. You sound serious. No, it's, I did something that I... Uh, this is this serious? Yeah. I did something that I'm... I'm uh, Are you serious? I, mean, I have an excuse, but I did something that I am not proud of. Are you being for real right now? Yeah. I mean, I'm a little ashamed of it. You going to tell us on the podcast? Um, yeah. Why do, why do you want to tell you want to do an episode where you come clean about something? Yeah, I want to come clean. Is let's do a mean, whole let's do a whole episode about it. Well, you want to all do it? I you want to all do it? Because we can like how t- we can we can we can all say yeah, something that we because can't if think. you make it if you know the one thing is I think you get in trouble is hiding your secrets and I think when you when you're open about your secrets nobody has anything over you and you're honest so I just want to be honest about what I did this weekend. And, okay. Uh, well, what if what if um, how about what if we count to three? Yeah. And. The three of us come up with, oh, the three shit. of us all admit something. I'm nervous. <laughs> and we can all come clean. I know. I'm fucking nervous. You have one? Do you have one? Um, yeah, I have one. Chris, do you have one? Hold on. No, oh, yeah, no, I got one. Yeah, I got right. one. Okay. No judgments, right? No judgments. Yeah. Friends. Yes. We're friends. Yeah, we're friends. I'm nervous now. Okay. I'm nervous. No, don't be nervous. This is good. This is good. You're going to feel way better <sighs> right. after this is over. No judgment. So on anyway, the count of three. Anyway, and we've all done bad things. We, everyone does bad things. Yeah. All right, so on the count of three, we all admit something. We're all going to come clean on something. Right. Okay, one, two, three. I'm I killed a to dolphin. Hat from Rite Aid. What? 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 Did you, did you say? What did you just say? I, I. What did you say? I said I stole a hat from Rite Aid. I, I said that I'm addicted to fruit. Oh. You said you you killed a dolphin. Killed a dolphin, dude. I killed a dolphin. Wait. What do you mean? I can explain this. To oh. you. Okay, All let right. me explain. I can explain. Yeah. I, uh, um, what happened was I was in the Santa Monica Bay and I was trying to rid the Bay of seals and, um, well, that's you just were doing as bad. What? No, it's not. You were trying to rid the Bay of seals? Yeah, because they're, they're the rats of the sea. But what do you mean you rid, you were going to rid them? Yeah, like because, shoo them away or? Well, um, you try to exterminate them. They're, they're, the seals are basically huge rodents. A lot of people don't know this. No, they're they, cute. Nah, I know, but they carry salmonella. And, uh, and so what are you with the Surfrider Foundation or something? What are you just, um, who, who was giving you the authority to go around killing seals? Okay. Oh, let me back up here. Um, I can't I, believe you killed a dolphin. I know. I bought a harpoon on the internet. Okay. Let You're an actor it. comedian. Yeah. Why did you buy a harpoon? Because. You bought a harpoon. No, because to rid the Santa Monica Bay of, of um, and, and the, who sea, em, the and, sea rats. And right? who employed you to do this? <laughs> Okay. All right. Nobody. But let, let me. Okay. okay. Jeez, Brian. I know. I know. I know. And I know in. you guys are going to be. All right. Look, okay. no ju- judgment, I guess. And, and, but, and I, mean, I know seals are cute, but somebody told me they carry salmonella and that they're Ooh. in the rodent family. Who told you that? that? 
Who, who what? Like who told you that? Some Asian that fisherman or something? Yeah, who I, to- I, I heard, so I think I was down, somebody, I, um, a, just a group of people and, who were down there. And um, so, I, okay, so anyway, I'm, I'm looking, I'm hunting seal, and next thing I know, this dolphin keeps coming up and bumping my boat. He wants to play. They're very you know, intelligent. I, I took it as aggressive, and so I speared it. I gave its calf a warning. I speared its calf. What? It, what? You killed t- how many? You killed did you? a dolphin calf? I don't know if I killed it. I'm not checking it with a stethoscope. I a didn't ba- check its but heartbeat. But you know, you killed the other one. Well, ha- okay. Can I finish? You okay. killed a baby dolphin. I didn't. I st- I stabbed it. I gave it a, a poke in the fucking ribs, so it'd leave me alone. I swear to God, I next was- to a chimp, I think a baby dolphin has to be the cutest animal. Yeah, like a baby chimp. I know. I feel baby guilty. Dolphin. That's why I said yeah, I want to get it off my how, chest. How many I... Yorkies did you kill? Come on, dude. All right, so what the fuck? So, so, you then, did... so then I thought if I speared the calf and just gave it a little gah, like that, that the mom would be like, let's get the hell out of here and take the calf. And yeah. then the calf goes belly up, which I felt bad about. I'm sure it wasn't dead, but it was probably stunned. And then and then the the mom keeps with that stupid bulby head. And I fucking I, I unloaded my harpoon into it. Oh jeez! Then what, what did you get? What did you do? Like who was with you? Did anybody see this? Oh uh, no, uh, I don't think so. And then I, t- I had to get the harpoon out of its head because they're expensive, and it was just such a fucking mess. But you know what else is expensive? <sighs> what? Dolphins. I know. They're man. You can't just fucking kill them. I they're- know, but they fucking things bumping my boat like an asshole. What did yeah. you do with What did you do with the dolphin? Please just tell me you let the dolphin lay in its in its ocean ocean bed, its its ocean grave. What did you do with the dolphin? I wrapped it in towels and I buried it in my backyard. <laughs> what? You what? I know. I know. Oh, Brian. I'm well, what? About, I'm gonna, I was going to cut it up and feed it to my dog or something like that. Um, Brian, this is terrible. This is absolutely a, just the most abhorrent crime. Chris stole did anybody, a hat. And, and, did it, and nobody saw it? I was with someone, and I'm going to explain this to you. Who was with you? So he knows. Uh, Who knows? He did know. Who? Just somebody. If I, I don't want to go into who. It's who just a knows? friend of mine. It's somebody who was in my acting class a while ago, and his name is Kevin, and he came along with me, and, and, he, and, and I killed him. Too. Kevin? Well, I killed him, too. I know. Oh Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. I know. Hold on. I know. So, I know. I know. Oh, and he's in my backyard. Uh, Brian. I know. What do you I mean? Know. You keep saying you know, but you I'm don't sorry. know. Don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not the only one who's done bad fucking things. And I, I, I panicked. Stole, I still had a right aid. Okay, I, I panicked. I, I buy bags and bags of plums and berries and well, feast on them. All right. Yeah, well, mean, you know, everybody has their own one, fucking but... thing. Is, that is weird. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if you know. I I I just you know it's a harpoon and I and I flipped out and then I when I and then I unloaded it on Kevin and I, I think. He, Do we know Kevin? Huh? Do we know Kevin? Who's Kevin? He works at Trader Joe's. He's a good. The guy? The, yeah, the, the guy. I I, he's always looking for something to do. He's lonely, and I said, "Come out with me." And maybe in the back of my mind, I wanted to fucking off him because he's fucking got no family and he's just always on his bike. Wait a minute. I know. Hold on. How, I know. I, I, I know. Why did you start this off I by was saying... fucking bored and then this goddamn uh, this dolphin eh, you know with its with bulby yeah, head. I get it but it just sounds like you hate dolphins and uh, Okay you've never Kevin. done anything you've never done anything really bad? Yeah, well I mean worse than being addicted to fruit? Yeah. Sure. What? I uh you guys remember the actor Richard Grieco? Yeah. Have you seen him around recently? No. Not really. I saw him If Looks Could Kill was the last thing. I, I pushed him out of a plane. Are you That's kidding? That's murder. I pushed him out. He might have lived. Oh, we no. were skydiving. How? He doesn't we were skydiving. Wings. Did he have his chute? He was wearing a leather coat. Maybe he oh, could have like, like, been Why like a flying squirrel. Why did you murder squirrel. an actor oh, like that? I, we, were, we were skydiving and man. I pushed him out of a plane. Why? Because I'm stronger than him. Uh, That's not a justification. Chris, Chris, do you have anything? I mean, those are bad. I, I suppose I have. Suppose I have something. Yeah. What? Like what? There was this uh, guy. He was like a. He was like nineteen year old kid, just getting into acting. Had a lot of offers and stuff. And uh, his name was Brad. And he just. Um, I got some dirt on him, and I, I, I just told him. I said, if you ever f- fucking try and work in this town um 
I'll I'll expose you. I'll expose everything that you are. And um, you kept a, a, a young man from his living his dream. His dream. Yeah. Did you keep him? Did you keep him? He's Where right now. I, no, he's alive. You never let us in your basement. What the fuck is going he's on? He's alive. Um, and uh, you have a human he, pet. He's a. I keep him. I have food and shit. Oh have, my! You're keeping a boy. God, how does he get so he's, he's not 19 now. He's, he's, he's 29. Oh, you kept him for 10 years. You've kept a human he man. Looks, nobody really, gives, nobody's he looks hurt. Sad. He looks nobody, all sad and. Uh, of course he does, man. You got to see a guy. It's one thing to kill to a see. harpoon, a dolphin, and another guy named you Kevin. See but a the guy yeah, nobody he, misses Richard Greco. Every day I see him, he knows that he he lost his dreams because of me. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast and subscribing on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart radio and check us out on twitter at 10 min pod uh brian what would you be able to do to stop me if i decided to just hold you down and shave There's your entire you body do. you could shave his entire body oh, shit, just shave your body yeah i'd stick my fuck i'd stick my fingers in your throat i'd smack no. your hand away and shave your body i'd videotape it I'm not some a- podcasts are slow and you don't know how long they last that's why you listen to 10 minute yeah. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris Alia. And I'm Brian the Kid Callen. I want to talk about something serious today. Like, when you get, like, a, have a real topic about Let's something. Let's talk about something real. Whatever you want to talk See, about. See, you you're nah. like a. He's. You're, stop dumb. kissing at okay, him. Every time I try to bring up something serious, okay. like this idiot. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Talk about? Politics? What do you, want about? you want to talk about what's going on in the world? You want to talk about Middle Emba- East? Imbach Obama? Do you have. Imbach Obama? It's Barack yeah, Obama. Yeah, What did he say? I said. Uh, you, you, I believe that you made that mistake because you're that ignorant. You no. know that Chris, for the listeners, doesn't eat vegetables, and you know why? Yeah. They're just not that good. Yeah. He said. No, they're not good. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. I ate, I ate a little bit of arugula though. You saw me. What eat do you arugula. What do you What do you want to talk about? We should talk about nutrition and how um, uh, that'd be fun. maybe I don't know and how much healthier we'd be, how much money we'd save on healthcare if we. Actually... I'm bored. I'm fucking bored as shit. That'd be a already. good idea. Didn't get a chance to finish my sentence. Thank God. Because it was a boring Thank sentence. Thank God. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we talk about the uh, Republican already primaries? Already bored. Already bored. Oh. See, notice how I said that I'm bored as bored. you said the boring bored. thing. Bored. What do you guys want to talk about? Here's what I want to talk about. I actually feel like moving forward with the 10 minute podcast that we have room here to introduce a new a new segment okay and a new bit i think i know the people out there have been enjoying the shauna uh yeah yeah the shauna mm-hmm. character yeah. yeah uh that we've been doing um i was thinking moving forward wouldn't it be cool if shauna had her own segment on the show her own segment on the 10 minute podcast yeah, okay if uh she had her own segment is she around well we could i'm sure we could summon her some way okay and uh if she had her own segment called the keeping it real uh-huh. With Shauna. Mm, that sounds good. What do you think of that? Uh-huh. She does keep it fucking re- seriously The one real. thing about her is that she definitely keeps it real. Yeah. yeah. So I think we should do that. And now it's time for Keeping It Real with Shauna. Here, here we go. My name is Shauna. I'm keeping it real on the 10 Minute Podcast with Brian Crystal Will. Shit. Hey, y'all. Thanks for having me here on the 10 Minute Podcast with y'all. I got my own segment. Raise the roof. I got my own segment. Oh, hey, Shauna. What's hey, up? You keeping it real, going, huh? Shana? What's going on? Oh, look. It's Will Sasso. I finally get to meet Will Sasso. Hey, baby. How you doing, Shauna? I'm doing pretty good. Give me a kiss. Oh, okay. Ew, oh, why are you agreeing to that? She's, she's sexy, guys. Yeah, oh, that's not really yeah, keeping it real. Yeah, that's oh, oh, touch my tail. Oh, 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 gross. So, Dude, Shauna, what on. do you want to talk about? Well, what's the problem with the show? Y'all ain't coming up with no topic. What's uh, up? Yeah, well, that's, I, that is kind of an issue. We've kind of run out of topics and stuff. And why are you? I think y'all should talk Will's about. Like I that. think y'all should talk about what kind of man oh. y'all like to fuck on the road. This concludes keeping it real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana, and I kept this shit real. So what, love, motherfucker? Because now you know the deal. Uh, okay, well that's not really gonna yeah, help us. Talk about men we yeah. fucked on the I road. Don't, she I, forget that. Forget that she said that. I never yeah, fucked a man maybe, on the maybe road. Maybe women. You, you have. No, I haven't. You have never. I've never fucked. Never. You've never had sex. No, I've had sex. You've din- done it after you driving never, on a road. Yeah. You never so, had a. But guy, I've never had sex with a guy. Never, you never threw on a half shirt and hung out and had some guy pay you fifty bucks to fucking pull your hair and and, and work your mouth. <laughs> no, man. You well, never have. No, not once. Well, you walk around like a wisp, willow, willowy wisp, and and I and I know you also like girls, but you're telling yeah. me that you've never had a guy grab a handful of that thick tussled hair. And just work your mouth. This, no, the, 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 I, look, it's, really, it's besides saying, the point. It's besides the point. Shauna did, just kind of didn't. That's not a very good that's topic. Not a good for us. I mean, it, what's it keeping it real sense. about that? I guess you I guys ever been with a guy? No, no I've oh, never no. been with a guy. I'm heterosexual. You? No, I mean you're acting, but you're the way you're. No, no I mean, 
do you think define to, define be with a guy? Have though? you had like, sexual relations? Have you put with a guy? your penis into a guy's oh, body? God, gross. No, I've had very very strong kinship feelings. I had a I was wrestling with a guy in Europe. I remember, and he was dark, very dark. It was so weird, tall, and. Um, we were, uh, oh God. Yeah, see, I think we're, our, I think we're struggling already. I think we need her back to tell us, to give us, give us a topic. Uh, something, that, something we could talk about. Okay, uh, sure, let's get her back, I guess. And now it's time for Keeping It Real with Shana. Here we, here we go. My name is Shana. I'm Keeping It Real on the 10-minute podcast of Brian Chris and Will. Shit. I think y'all should talk about, uh, wow, wow. How, how y'all would kill a bitch if you caught that bitch fucking your man? What? Get well, out of here! Yeah, that's that's I, what's up. I know, but I don't. I don't have a man. Yeah, what are you talking about? We're all woman. heterosexual men, Sean. Yeah, yeah, but this this is what I'm saying. You are. This is what, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it. Let me just keep it real. Sure. Then I'm out. Then I'm out. I'm only <laughs> gonna take up a little bit of your time. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit of time. I think you should talk about what, how y'all would kill a bitch if you caught the bitch fucking your man. I'm out. This concludes keeping it real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana, and I kept this shit real. So one love, motherfucker, because now you know the deal. Trip your ear. That okay. She yeah. wants us to talk about that. Was more about fucking. That was like murder. our thing about her, though. Like, yeah, well, we don't. Have she's sex a woman with and we're men, right. so she doesn't but understand. I think, I think but the point is taken. How would you murder somebody? You know, I guess if I, you had to. But I mean, if you were gonna murder, I mean, if you, I mean, we've never fucked a guy. I, but this is what I don't like about what she's doing. She's steering us into this whole guy fucking right. thing, well, but, which is which is totally fine if you're if you're homosexual. If you we fuck we guys, happen to be we happen to be heterosexual. College, it's just not it, for us. That's not really keeping it real. If you did yeah. what? No, I'm saying you, some people go through a phase in college right. or whatever. Sure. You're wrestling around with your buddy. Somebody's cock flies out of a speedo. Whatever happens, and then all of a sudden, you know, something one thing leads to another, and people can go through sexual phases, but it doesn't make them. You can't label them. Anything. So you're saying you can la- you can't label them anything but gay. Yeah, gay works. Gay would be a good label. Yes, and it you, would be in that moment. But then you get out. Yeah, of that it, would you be grow out of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, things change, tastes change. People yeah. uh, learn things about themselves. Evolve. But, that's all. but I think to say that you are not gay after you have sex uh, with a man yeah. is actually homophobic. Because I can say, uh, like right now, let's just keep it real. Like Sean says, I've never had sex with a guy. Will yeah. I've never had sex with a guy, right. Brian. Right, and there you go. So, th- so then that's Brian. that's where the gray area is, right? Brian. That's where that's where everything. Well, gets but what are you talking convoluted. about though? Because in the you, sense that what is sex? How do you define it? What do you mean by a guy? You know, guy, all that like stuff, a guy. So. That's what I mean. In, like he's got balls yeah. and testicles and a penis. Right. And, but if it's not, have you have you had sex with a man in an emergency? Are you saying or just in a regular? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, you did you go through a phase? I mean, I, my I, my phase in college was I slept during the day and yeah. woke up. At I just did. Night I just did. I did my share of poppers, and then what happens is you get so you're you get so, so lightheaded, kind of rowdy. And then somebody's somebody's got a sharp profile. They're aggressive. They're yeah. they're they're intelligent. They're attractive. And then next thing you know, you're 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 in a situation. That's let's what let's. Um, I I gotta say, uh, first of all, two things. First of all, you're gay. Second of all, right. I think oh, that I me. think that Guys, Shauna can I'm help us out with, maybe right. with a Another with a better, topic. With a better topic. There's sure. not much show no left, problem. but I guess Let's no see. problem. And now it's time for keeping it real with Shauna. Here we go. My name is Shauna. I'm keeping it real on the ten minute podcast of Brian Chris and Will. Shit, y'all ever fuck someone from the Wu Tang Clan? And go. This concludes keeping it real with Shauna. Hey, my name is Shauna, and I kept this shit real. So one love, motherfucker. Of course, I. That's what are you just it, now. About? She's Why going you... from talking about having sex with men to more specific. It's also so specific, even for women. Like I how know. many women? It you know has... what's funny about this? I worked with uh, Reza on Californication, and I was at a Halloween party, and a guy who looked exactly like Raekwon, uh Chef Raekwon, uh That was his costume, or no, no, no. He's called know. the Chef Raekwon. The Chef, the chef. Raekwon. Yeah. Uh, what, whatever. I don't listen. What do you mean that. costume? Was was and Riza was Riza there at the party? No, he. I worked with him on uh, Californication, but this guy Raekwon. So this, you know Raekwon? Uh, I think I, the guy who was in this Halloween party. It may have been a costume, and I, next thing on, I'm being grabbed by the throat, and oh I'm in goodness. some strange room. And wait, hold on. And uh, I'm like, what the fuck is that? That thing belongs on a mule. And then uh, and then and then he's like, I know people. You say shit to anybody? I'm like, no. Brian, are what? you? Hold on. Are I you? Know. Hold on one second. Oh, Everybody, oh, hold on like, one gross. second. One second. What? Are you saying? that you had sex with the Wu-Tang Clan member Raekwon? I've not had sex with him. <laughs> you, but what are you talking about? And held by the throat against a wall by someone who said that that was their name. <laughs> um, and and it, was a, it was during Halloween. 
And then I was not wearing pants. Who cares if it was Halloween? What was your Halloween costume? What was your Halloween costume? I was dressed as a as a gimp. With, I was wearing a pair. Of, when did you start to dress as the gimp? Before you went into the party, or? Yeah, they gave me. They gave okay. me. It was when I was. You had sex with Raekwon from the Wu Tang Clan. So I guess. And they gave you the gimp. They wanted you to be the gimp. Yeah, and then you know, oh look, the butt parts cut out and all that stupid stuff. You know <laughs> all I mean? that stupid stuff. So I had a, I Raekwon, had a, the chef Raekwon, fucked you. I don't at a, know. At a Halloween I, I party. Was high. I don't have any idea. Well, oh, come on, you guys. Don't be oh. immature. You're being fucking immature. I'm trying to open up. I had a ball in my mouth. I remember that. And I remember I was wearing... Uh, there were, or, No, I had a bit, like a horse bit in my mouth. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast oh, and for subscribing on what? iTunes. We're on you Stitcher Smart Radio. I didn't, your, uh, I didn't have app. sex with anybody. But you and, gotta uh, just be real. Keep it real. Check, like it out. check us out on Twitter at 10 Pod. Brian, you gotta be more real. You gotta hey, well, come the, to terms The good news is Sean really kept it real with that because Brian did it. So. Do you have to eat now? Yeah, I do because I'm hungry. Why do you have to eat now? You know why? I got what? an answer. Because I don't give a fuck about you guys. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Some podcasts are so six, six dishes And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcasts okay, everybody else Hey, me. welcome to the 10 Minute Pod... Oh, Jesus. Excuse me? Yeah. Welcome to yeah. the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. Yeah, I'm Brian the Kid Callen. Dude. My name is Chris D'Elia. Okay, and, be, be louder with your food. That's so obnoxious. Okay, can I explain? We, we got to do life. It's got to be like life. It can't, we can't just stop to do a podcast. We okay, but catch you... catch it in our natural habitat. Okay, so oh Chris was an hour late Fuck. to record. An hour and a half, dude. An hour and a half late. Don't have to air out my business, but okay. And now he's uh, he ordered food. You're and eating he's... meatballs? You got, you're casually eating a meatballs, <laughs> pasta, and a whole chicken dinner. You can eat all it's that? It's not. It's eggplant parmesan. And it's a, and it's also I have meatballs, yes, and then I have chicken piccata. Oh, well, that, mm. Now, even well, though I don't, don't want to hear don't, you eat, can you come up on the mic a little bit? Cause sure, we, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, don't make that noise when you eat meatballs. Don't do that shit. No, no, no. It's all good. Oh, let me open this. <laughs> Is this going to be the podcast? Because I wanted to talk no, no. about other shit. Let's talk about some stuff. What do you want to talk about? Well, okay. Why were you late? Why were you an hour and a half late? Oh, I had a meeting, dude. Okay, so let me get yeah. this straight. First, it was first, you have a meeting. You couldn't call us and tell you. Was up. <laughs> Is he gonna? That's disgusting. You got eggplant coming out of your face. No, no, and no. Don't... Stop <laughs> doing you don't that. Have to, you don't have to vocalize. You can just yeah. chew. Stop it, man. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Are you gonna be part of the podcast right now or not? Yes, I'm here, dude. I am here. Daddy is here. No, I was, don't say oh, daddy. daddy. Don't. No, I know. <laughs> it's like a joke. I was uh, so I was uh, I was having a meeting, dude. There's a high profile uh, picture, and I was uh, I'm in the mix for it, guys. Okay. All right. Look, gonna it, be coming out. Gonna be coming I don't out. Want to punch him in the face. You you could have you could have just you, uh, you can't punch me in the face. Too you fast. Uh, my, my hands are. You could have just called hands. us. You could have just said like, "Hey, let's do it a little bit later. I'm mm. running into a meeting. This is gonna be late. I'm gonna and be then, late." And then what would Greg Kinnear have done? Just fucking sat there. Oh, so Greg. No, Kinnear Greg Kinnear was, was in, not was in the there? meeting. He was at the meeting. Uh, no, well, let, let's just say he wasn't at the meeting. <laughs> Gay guys. Uh, um, that's not a that's not an you know impressive name about. anyway. Uh-huh. I don't care if what Greg Kinnear was there. What else? What did you order? No, you got meatballs. You got eggplant parmesan. Is that chicken piccata? This is chicken piccata. You, so you basically lunch. You're having lunch three times a, no, at the I'm same time. A little nosh. Well, this is not nosh. a little nosh. You've ordered three entrees. <laughs> so, but yeah. So anyway, he's like, I hate you. So anyway, you you like, can eat anything no, 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 and you no, don't no, get no, fat. No, oh, okay, well, oh, he's whoa, eating whoa, three whoa, lunches. Well, I work out twice a day. No, but Will, hold on, hold on, and I'm. I'm. I have a mess. Endomorphic. Oh, okay. Mesomorphic. Hold on, dude, hold on, dude hold it's on. not his fault. Um, it's his no, metabolism. No, no. Hold on, Stop I'm, teasing him. Don't I'm do not, that. Okay, You're don't teasing do him. That. You're okay. teasing him. Stop it. Let me eat it's, softly. Don't do that to him, man. Okay, it's sorry. fucking obnoxious. It's he's, hard on, he's on for a diet. Me to think he's on a diet. Look, look, and look, make you're, comedy we're in a when t- you're eating. Listen, well, 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 listen, man. Everybody okay, should look, know that we're, we're, you've, you've, we're, go ahead. we're in a tiny room, and, and it's a very small room because mm-hmm. Will moved the whole fucking headquarters down to his basement. I can barely move. And Chris has three dishes open, and you can smell all the food. And Will has a food addiction. He's a mess. <laughs> Here's the thing. Why are you crying? Here's Stop crying. I have a food addiction. Stop crying on his food. You can have one. Vice, then calm the like, fuck down. I like flavor. Listen, it's that's so okay, wrong. Stop yes, it. But Will, listen, I, can listen, you put the food it's away? Helped, it's helped you in your career. You gotta play curly. You gotta be bigger to play no. curly. You, you, pretty soon, you'll be able to play 
Samoan guys. <laughs> okay, all right, hey! all right, that's your and, being a uh, hey, No, 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 you can play. You can play. Can I, have a, can I have a piece of broccoli? No, you cannot have a piece no, of broccoli. No, fuck you. You're bad. Your piece of broccoli. You're bad. Give me a piece of broccoli. No, no, hey, 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 stay down, stay just there. Give me a piece of broccoli. Stay no, there. Why? Just give me a piece of broccoli. Stay, sit down. This is what. No, that's why you can't lose Get weight. Ah, tits. Will, that's mine. It. That's mine. He don't put the food away, otherwise we're why not going to be able to do Who this? wants a piece of broccoli? Because he'll keep ew, eating. Ew. It starts with broccoli, and then he's going to freak oh, out. Oh, no. Ew, Stop ew. doing that. Stop doing that. Mm. Nah, but he becomes crazy. Hey, Will. Quiet. No, he's Will, 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 come back <laughs> to me. Will, Will, come back to me. Will, Will, look at me. Look at me. No, relax. It's okay. You're going to eat. You're going to eat. But you have to wait another hour, right? Remember? That's the deal. I got to eat. I got to eat all this food before he gets it. Dude, please, please, please to put the food away. Otherwise, he's going to flip Pretty out. Pretty soon you'll he'll be able to play. Uh, what, what's that Japanese uh, wrestling? <laughs> don't sumo say wrestling? Don't say oh, yeah. sumo. All right. Um, you're being obnoxious, Chris, and you're I really gained, teasing I actually him. did gain weight to play Curly. Really? That's mm-hmm. good. I gained, I gained four pounds. That can. Oh, oh, four? Well, that wow, that's so Robert De Niro of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's so hey, Christian dude, you, Bale Daniel of you. Daniel Day-Lewis, Christian Bale, yeah. and Will Sasso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys Chris- are all playing real people, too. Wow. Yeah, hey, yeah. what's that supposed to mean? Real, oh, I'm playing real. Oh, nothing, nothing. Cooley's a real person. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a real person. Uh, welcome to fucking, hey, next stop, Cartoonville. Yeah, hey, hey what, everybody. Okay, now, don't, please don't disparage the good name of the, of the, uh, yeah, of the yeah. studio. Yeah. I heard you're going to play Elmer Fudd pretty soon, Okay, too. that's that's I'm not even on the same. That's You're going to piss people off talking like that. Listen, man. Um, Will, congrats on um, on the Three Stooges. It's hey, thanks. A, it's a hit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. And um, <laughs> really good though. Seriously, uh, yeah. last weekend, man. Yeah. Fucking bow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> bow, bow, real bow, well, bow. Dude. Here's the thing. And I saw it. This this podcast is only ten minutes. And I saw it. And so I'm, I'm so, sure that uh, I'm sure we went to the premiere. We did go to the premiere to support our friend Will. Yeah, and there were more pictures of me on the red carpet than Brian. Oh <laughs> God, Chris. You it know, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter though. Well, you then guys, why are you bringing it up? Know, Who gives know, a shit? Know, you know. Okay. Here's another thing I hate about you, Chris. What's that? Okay. You oh, you, you don't eat fast enough. This, I eat very fast. No, you don't. This podcast is okay. 10 minutes long. You're going to eat over, like, we could record five of these. You'd okay. be eating the whole time. And no, I don't know. Stop. Brian, doing can that. I have a piece of bread? No, no fucking please, way. No, please, no. You definitely can't have bread, dude. Mm-hmm. I haven't been way. I haven't been eating bread. I'm no going to, I'm you. going to, um, I'm actually going to gain or lose 100 pounds, I decided. What are you playing next? Why? You're going to gain uh, or lose? Yeah, and grow a beard. Mm. Why? And, um, Wear glasses. Why? Oh, you're just to be oh, different. you're playing a like molester? Uh, no, 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 no. We're no. playing a child molester. No, 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 That's no, no, not no. a good look. Mm-hmm. I think of well, there's like younger dudes all have like these beards, like these like uh, sort of like chick kryptonite, and they wear they have these beards mm. so they can look cool. But why don't you get girls breast, don't like them? Why don't you get breast implants? Um, well, I don't want breast implants. Why you look good with big tits? Mm-hmm. No, I wouldn't. I have a nice chest. You could play like a big girl. Get some on your. I don't want to play on your good. back too. <laughs> Yeah, tits get on tits my back. Uh-huh. Four tits. Yeah, get tits on your back and get tits. This on is your obnoxious. Back. You guys are both chewing and gnawing away. So here's the deal, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? No, I don't. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't. You're being hostile. Hey guys. Why are you so hostile? How much would you pay? Seriously, how much would you pay to have my hair? Um, three hundred dollars. No, that's not that. All right, I'd pay a lot to have your hair. How much? I don't know, dude. I Be mean, serious. You, how much would you pay? Because you're fucking. You know, it's not. It's not a party. It's I, not I'll a party. Tell you on, why. It's not. It's not bad, but it's not a party on top. Okay, yeah. I'll tell, it's I'll not tell bad you, though. Let me tell off. you why I would only pay three hundred dollars for your hair because it would be an experiment, and I'd probably shave it off. Because if I had your hair, I'd look like ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> my career, so, my <laughs> career would be if it's if you can believe it might even be bigger than it already is. So, if you had Chris's hair. Yeah, Brian, damn, if you I had would Chris's lo- hair. Are you kidding me? I would pay. You look Brian like, with my hair. Yeah, no. You, if, if we colored it, if we colored it blonde, you'd be Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. Shut Lines. up, dude. I, I'd would. give a fucking pinky for your hair. Yeah, because you also stuff your dick and balls between your legs hey. and dance around to eighties hey. hits. That's true. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Hey guys. No, I don't. Hey guys, look, you look at this. I got this picture of you that I took when I was over uh, your house where, last where week. Where did you get that? picture of him yeah i know but i was i was over your drunk. house and you what, didn't know i was taking the picture fucking... i was using your your restroom upstairs near your near okay your i was joking around in my mirror yeah but you have something in your bum, question, in your though. bum and you're playing with yourself okay but i'm joking around that's what i could that's because i was joking well, around let me ask you a question guys how come they always give you vegetables as sides to these fucking dishes and vegetables suck dick so bad no well, well the, first of all you. you're eating them so stop saying they're not i'm good. only eating them because you have to you don't have to. There's no rule that says you have to. Hey, give me a meatball. No. Hey, man. No. Be, be cool, dude. Don't give him a fucking meatball. Will, you're not going to get any food. 
Um, <laughs> no, right? I'm, I'm not hungry. And why never, do you keep I'm staring? Never hungry. Well, because it's it's just you I'm literally not, you're looking at those meatballs like they're a really fast car. I kind of stopped woman. eating red meat. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is a great podcast. Yeah, this is a really we got, good we got one. Got a lot done. Hey, I don't, I don't, hey, happy New Year, 2014, because I'm banking this episode until then. Hey, I don't give a shit, dude. Hey, maybe I should like have like on Saturdays I should put out the ones we don't like. <laughs> Good call. Not even joking. That's actually a good call. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast and for subscribing right, and listening. That's actually a good call. That's actually a good call. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. Get the app. And check us out on Twitter at... And by the way, t- go to my website and laugh your ass off. Brian, laughs all day. That's pink, pinkteens.com, right, man? Hey, hey man. Go to... Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. man, don't say that. We're on Twitter at 10 Minute Pod. And if, yeah, you, enjoy, no shit, and if you enjoy the show, tell your friends <laughs> and uh, then they can listen. Brian, come up with a character right now. Right now? Do a character. Um, okay, you guys are so funny. What is like, that? What is that? That's my character. That's not a just character. just likes people who are funny. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. It's just really weird. Yeah. It's not a character. But I don't like the it. most important thing for me is that my friends make me laugh. And that, like, that's so important because you guys are both Italians. And well, Italians so what? are so funny. Yeah, who cares? Funny. They're not all that funny. I, I mean, know, but the most important oh, okay. thing for me is Forget I asked you to come yeah. up. Hey, Will, welcome, thanks for well, asking us. Yeah, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Kelly. And I'm Chris D'Elia, the I'm, most important yeah. one. I also do another... <laughs> what? What, dude? Did I hurt your fuel wings? Don't do that. Did I hurt your fuel wings, dude? I'll punch you in the face, dude. If you, you can't get it. me. I'm too quick. You can't get me. I'm too quick. While you're busy trying to punch me in the face, guess what I'm doing? Sneaking up behind you, giving you a rear naked choke, putting you on the ground, curbing you, <laughs> kicking the back of your head, making you swallow your own teeth. You digest them. Four hours later, you shit them out, scarring your butt, and then you die. <laughs> That's Jesus. what happens. What? That's exactly... Exactly what happens. I, I. But let's talk about more important things. Will, you had a big movie come out. Oh yeah, this past oh, two three weeks. Stooges. And, and, three uh, Stooges. And, and you should be congratulated. Speaking of kicking the shit out of people. <laughs> speaking of the kicking the shit out of people. That's right. You played Curly. All right. Yep. And yeah, and I got the guys, shit kicked out of me. You guys beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three Stooges going into its third third weekend. Trimester. And and you made a lot more money than anybody thought. And you were you were kind of a hit. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, which is amazing because they, they, they didn't s- put me in it. <laughs> I, uh, okay, well, don't. But I mean, I, you know, look. To be honest, to be brutally honest, yeah, I thought I was gonna make twelve dollars. <laughs> you did but, say that. You know, I, I thought I was gonna make twelve dollars, but, but I thought, <laughs> that, that's I thought, so funny. I, I, okay. Why are you, I knew. Hey, from but the but let's not let will talk about. So shut, first of all, you're in. You're in route for a Kerbin. Okay, <laughs> you're in route for a Kerbin. Can I say two things? Let's threatening me. Can I say two things? Yeah. You guys, let me say three things. Number one, you guys are like a couple of fucking. You guys are like letting go of a basket of cats. Okay, that's first of all, that's when you rude. talk. No, okay. it's like fucking opening a basket of fucking can sixteen we, cats. Can we feral, talk about feral it's like cats? I, I, feral well, cats. it's like I've got a basket, an upside down basket of feral cats, <laughs> and I just pick up the basket, right. and then I expect them all to drink from the same bowl of milk, or no, line them up with sixteen bowls. I will say that's actually not necessarily a bad. Comparison. No, it's it's, it's actually pretty. But accurate. then guess what? All it's those cats, all those cats get curbed, and 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 those <laughs> cats are Brian. Why yeah. would you curb no. a bunch those of cats? The second kitties thing, eat their teeth and shit them out. <laughs> the second <laughs> thing I was gonna say is Brian, that character you just came up with sucks shit. It no, does. That's, that's a and loot, loot. don't don't use the ten minute podcast as a means to trot out your bullshit characters. Your stupid character. The, the ten minute character. podcast should not be about f- us. Jerking off with characters. I have a great character. It, absolutely I have not. A great character. So no, 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 no. Hey, and will, me, it should not be about that. It should me. be about the three of us uh, getting along, uh, uh, talking the way we yeah, normally do. We We're three great friends in real life. Can you tell me how do I? Can you tell me how I get to the store? Can you tell me how I get to the store? That's somebody with Tourette's. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's pretty that's, good. The third, <laughs> the third thing I was gonna say is that. And you probably didn't even remember I was going to say a third thing because you basket of cats. <laughs> <laughs> the third thing I was going to say. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing to call 
Somebody, you best get a cat. Oh my god, please. Wow, that really looking good. Oh my god, dude. Okay. You basket cats. Okay. You what? The third thing I was going to say is I'm really happy with how the Stooges is doing. I'm yeah. happy that people are receiving it You never it talk well. about it, though. You never no, talk about it. You don't like talking about it. Well, yeah, I love Sean Hayes. I, I don't know Chris, but you guys killed it. Thanks, man. You did as well as you could. You know what I'd be interested in what, hearing what is, is... What? Well, is you got how, some good reviews. How, yeah, no, there's been great reviews. Did, did Shauna give it a review? What did Sha- Oh, what did Shauna say about it? Let's get Shauna. Why don't we, you guys want some... Yeah, let's I love Shauna had to say. Okay. She was outside with a basket of fruit. Let's let's see what she thinks. And now it's time for Keeping It Real with Shauna. Here we go. My name is Shauna. I'm Keeping It Real on the 10-Minute Podcast with Brian Chris Abril. Shit. Hey, y'all. What's up? Shauna in the house. Raise the roof. I'll bring it to the stage, motherfucker. No, we know Shauna. Shauna. Hey, Shauna. How's it going? You saw saw the Three Stooges. Yeah, did you see my movie, Shauna? Baby, I thought it was off the fucking chain. That shit was crazy. I found the fuck out. I brought all my nephews and my cousins. I brought my boyfriend, Hernan, and shit. We was like, what the fuck that will? Oh. Who that will? But I, mother, I had to wait until the credits to see that it was you, baby. I couldn't even... What do you mean? You couldn't tell it was me? No, nah, baby. You was you was deep. You was deep in that shit. You was, okay. Yeah, you but was, you knew it was Will. It's pretty I easy couldn't to tell that motherfucker. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yo, 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 yo. Yo, here's what's up. Will, let me tell you something. Go ahead, baby. When you get into a character, you fucking deep in that shit. Most motherfuckers don't even know you me. Yeah, I do characters too. That's, okay. Um, I'm just, okay. I'm just saying, but the movie, yo, the movie, the movie was great. The movie was oh, the so movie. So did you see it the same weekend next weekend or what? Did you I, see saw, how many times? I saw the I saw the Three Stooges. I was like, hi, Larry Moe and Curly. What? Larry Moe and Curly. Who? Larry Moe and Curly. Yeah, I, I guess. And then uh, and you know what? But originally there was some casting rumors that they had uh, it was a John, Sean Penn, Benicio del Toro, what's his face, Toro, and Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. That's now, right. That wouldn't yeah. quite work. That wouldn't quite work. That wouldn't quite work. That wouldn't quite work. I know. I don't know about that. Okay. Yeah. But baby, you did a great job. Thank you, Shauna. Yeah. Thank you very he, much. He did do a great job. And and uh, you know, I, I know that he put a lot of work into that. Did you enjoy the physical comedy? What was it that you liked? I had the a most? great time doing the physical comedy. No, I was comedy. talking to Shauna actually. Oh, sh- yeah. Brian, you ever done movies? I have done movies. Done what them. movie? I ain't never seen you in one. Well, I was no. in Hangover I One, saw, Hangover I Two. Saw I saw you in. Warrior. I saw I you in the in... Single Guy with Jonathan. What was that movie? I was in that. in the late nineties. Oh, no, with no. Jonathan Silverman. No. Did you I play wasn't. Jonathan Silverman? I wasn't in the movie in that TV show. No, he's show. done some movies, Sean. Oh, you know what? The next weekend, let me tell you what. The next weekend, I went out and saw my jam, y'all. What? They, because they had Think Like a Man came out the next weekend. They had every motherfucker was in that film. They had Regina Hall. They had Kevin Hart. They had Terrence Jenkins, Gabriel Union, Morris Chestnut, Romany e. Malcolm. Actually, I don't think all those. Entourage. Yeah. They had Tay Diggs. I don't Donald know. Donald Faison, Cicely Tyson, Terrence Howard, no, Felisa Rashad, those... Wesley Snipes, Vivica A. Fox, Cockroach from The Cosby Show, Ludacris, Angela Bassett, Eric okay, listen, Sal, listen. Cuba Gooding Jr., okay. Tootie from Facts of Life, the whole motherfucking gang is in that one. I think Wesley Snipes is in jail, I think, so I don't think he was in it. But uh, Yeah, no, he was. But and the neither thing was I just want to Eric say, LaSalle. But- Will, congratulations on the movie. You know okay. why? You know what? Because the Three Stooges in the end, they stay together. You know why they stay together? Because the Three Stooges get real. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Right, thank you, okay, Thank you very thank much. You so give, much. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay. No. okay. Oh, mm. oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 man. Yeah. Oh. Grandma, take a look at this pussy. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Here you go. Look at this. Thank, thank you. Hey, thank you. get out, please. Here you go. Thank All right. Bye-bye. This concludes Keeping It Real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana, and I kept this shit real, so one love, motherfucker, because now you know the deal. Trip your Wow, yeah. that uh, her perfume was overwhelming. Yeah, it was. It, it's on it's me. Too much. Yeah. It's on me. I taste it, and I didn't even touch her. Oh man, you did throw her well, out. I threw the door. her out, but I didn't. But I didn't taste her. I think she sprays herself with Lysol or something. She's a That's... big woman. You got her out of here fast. I know. Yeah. I move quick when I want something done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, well, that was nice of her to come by. I think she sort of said. You know, she sort of speaks uh, for me in a way. Yeah, yeah. in a way. But I got to tell you though, when I drive up, a little over the top, a little over the top. When I that. drive, it is a little. It's just, it's a little yeah. over you were very good, but, but you're not, uh, it's not like, you know, I mean, she yeah. didn't recognize you. That's yeah. a little annoying. But um, I do actually, whenever I drive up to the studios, a Ham Fighter One Studios, I always see, I always see her kind of like looming around waiting to maybe get a shot. Yeah. yeah. Have she, you ever been given, there, Will? Be honest. Have I ever been with Shauna? Yeah. 
There was what there was one night a little bit back, right after she started out at Catch a like Rising a, Star after in nineteen eighty six. It was nineteen eighty seven. I was twelve years old. Oh, okay, well, well how that, old was she? She like, would have been like forty. Okay, oh, okay. well, that's, that's well a, it's really yeah. you're, you, you, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, oh there we go you guys i just have to say this podcast has really been a life uh a changer for me and a game changer and this i just a- you know um i'm i'm telling you right now and i, I want to let you guys know i bought i bought a boat what you did? i bought a boat because we're we're making money oh no, you are not no but we're, we're what do you mean sponsored. we're not making money we're not even sponsored we don't have any money <laughs> what do you guys joke? I don't get it. This what doesn't do you- make money. We just sort of do it for the yeah. fans and for people. That's right. What are you talking about? I got a boat. What you- I'm gonna- how am I going to pay for my boat? Well, I don't boat. know how you're going to buy your boat. Use your- okay, so hold on a second. Use your Wait, I've been doing money. this, so I've been here. Okay, so I'm going to use my Whitney money for a boat. That's funny. That's yeah. a good one, man. What are you, Jay Leno? You how save much, all your TV money? How much was the boat? And why it do you want a, a boat? A, it's a big, it's, you know, sorry. Why do you want a boat? It's $80,000. Oh, my God. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Hey, I'm Will Stitcher Smart Radio. And iTunes and Twitter. (laughs) Did you hear that? Brian, you just farted. You just farted. It sounded like you dropped marbles into a bowl of pudding. That's what I did do. You did? I know. That's what I'm saying. I was dropping marbles in a bowl of pudding. No, you were farting. Are we recording? Yep. Oh, shit. Some podcasts are slow. And you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to That's Chris D'Elia. That's my crooning. Hey, welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. I'm Chris D'Elia, the most important third member, the most important. Okay. Well, I don't yeah. know what that means because you're uh, not that th- important. Most important me, uh, you did the math. Well, that's my key. To my he's play, he's, 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 you're twirling your Mercedes key. I didn't mention what kind of car it was. Oh, you so did. weird. Uh, you know, these guys here, these guys, Chris and Brian. These guys are my friends. Oh, well, hey, way to sound like a fucking overgrown oaf. <laughs> when I say these guys are my friends. Yeah, don't say my friends. You sound like an idiot. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. I want to know, because I think people are sort of interested by the fact that we're actually real great friends in real life. We are. And um, and I think some people may be curious how that dynamic works. And I think uh, what I'd like to cover on this episode is who, which two of us among the three of us, are the best friends because you can't have three best yeah. pals. It's hard though because I'm. I think I've I've always been the spearhead. I've always led the way. Wrong. And you guys kind of look up to me. Double I mean, double wrong. No, because I've done correct. more. I've been around. No, you haven't. I've you know? been. I've you been, have been, been around longer. I'm you have been around. Well, you've been on the planet longer, but I've uh-huh. been around. If you're talking to it, around, no, I've been around longer I've, than you. Yeah. No, and there's something about me that just has such longevity, you know. And um, mm. you so, know, if we were robbing a bank, for example, I would I would plan it. I would. I'd be the point man. I'd have the gun. You guys would. You'd. You would sit in the. The will. You'd sit in the fucking. In van. the getaway van. Yeah, shit in a brick. You know, sweating. I would. You would though. I and would. I would shit a brick and leave it in place of the van as I drove away laughing. <laughs> and you guys would get shot by the cops. I don't. I, and there would just. You would come out. You'd be come running out to the van and there'd just be a pile of human shit. And you'd go, "Where's the van?" And you'd just see me pulling around. And Chris the corner. would slip in the shit, and then I'd. I'd use <laughs> no. my. I'd throw you, my bat anchor up on the top of the building and climb it easily. No, you'd put the gun in your just, mouth. Just disappear. You know, disappear you'd, ghost protocol style. You'd hear the police sirens and you'd put the gun in your mouth. Bullshit, dude. I'd just fucking open up. Eat it! While I'm climbing, I'm fucking just spitting. Let, and Chris is like, wait for me. And I go, oh yeah, so you can be a witness? Listen, and he man. just fucking dies. And I just disappear, shoot, ghost protocol. What? You shoot me? Of course I shoot you. And then I fucking, I take my 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 prosthetic mask off. I take my prosthetic mask off, which was? What? Uh, well, it I, I had Will's face on. I was wearing Will's <laughs> face. The joke is on you. So they're looking no. for Will Sasso from no. Mad In TV. You, no, you could never pull and off. the Stooges, you yoker. Yeah, well, no. It, it, like like I did, uh, Curly, you, I don't think you'd be able to pull off my mannerisms. But 
literally okay well, i'm very very subtle listen but what i have so, so many okay. facial expressions all right that's Ridiculous. not even who gives okay that's i call great. it my bag of tricks oh all right. okay hey dude. listen dude they would be looking for you know that they on the thing the news bulletin will come out and be like uh actor uh, c list actor brian callen known for such uh things as veronica's closet reba I- uh, I was never very on special Veronica's episode of Reba. Caroline in the City. Uh, I was never Mama's on city. Mama's Family. I was never on any of those fucking uh, dinosaurs, shows. Dinosaurs, whatever uh, that one was. I think that the best two pals on the show are Chris and I. You know, I would, I would say, would you, I think I would uh, maybe agree with yeah. that because here's the thing: you introduced Will and I yeah. together, yeah, and since then. You know, you guys have known each other for longer, but since then, we've, become, we've kind of become good friends. Like, whenever we hang out, you leave first, and then Will and I just hang out for another, like, out. hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. well, because I've got and shit to do. Yeah, and yeah. that's why you're sort of, like, yeah, you're just kind of, kind of holier than now, yeah. and you're sort of, like, you're yeah. Yeah, Brian you're, doing you're his own thing. But Chris and I have, like, sort of a special bond as friends. Yeah, yeah well, I'm I'm yeah. the teacher. Students are going to be closer to each other than they don't no, like an authority figure. I don't know figure. if I'd call it that at all. Teachers don't usually wear wife beaters like that. Well, when you got shoulders like mine that go on for days, you're going to wear a wife beater. You look like John Travolta about to eat a bowl of spaghetti and meatballs hey, on Saturday Night Hey, favorite. how come you're dressed like James Conn in everything he did before 1990? Because I have a movie star quality. He's right. Honeymoon in Vegas was 91 and he was wearing a blue velour suit. But pre that... Um, you know, Chris and I are really good friends and we actually, we actually, Brian, I don't know if you know about this, but we recorded a song uh, yeah. With composer extraordinaire Greg O'Connor, yeah, he's great. Uh, who actually he, he you wrote a song together? Yeah, yeah. We uh, Greg did uh, Mad it. TV and 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 he's a record producer, all that stuff. He's Grammys and Emmys and all that stuff. And he actually does the the theme song with me. Yeah, um, very talented. The ten yeah, minute I, podcast. The ten minute podcast song. theme song. That's me singing. You and, fuckers and got Greg together is, and wrote uh, a song. And Greg is the yeah. To like, basically, why we did it is to show you that we're friends and you are like less of a friend than we are so we'd like you to hear that all right well let's hear it okay to show you what you're missing out on here we go creeped out that you guys Why? got together and we got together with o'connor and yeah, we made, we made that song. song that's us singing and we wrote it and we decided yeah, it so came from the, the heart the boots it's and, so hostile yeah. because you didn't even include me no and now i'm fucking third man out yeah, yeah. you know so? and then and so now you guys write a song you have your own fucking song about how you broke in boots <laughs> we went you walking but listen yeah, man, you, 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 this is what we yeah, do when I'm you leave early. left out so i don't so this whole time i'm fucking i don't have any fucking i guess i'm the fucking shithead and i'm the asshole yeah but brian you're forgetting one thing what how beautiful are those harmonies? Yeah, they were really yeah, good. Yeah, they really, they are it. good. They could have used some tuba and probably some flute. That's just my no. style of music. Okay, I yeah, mean, but... you know, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll forgive that. And then they were good harmonies. But it's a but good I, song, right? I could have fucking been in there. I could have helped that Yeah, but you always out. leave early and you got to talk about how you're doing your shit. Like you're always on True TV and it's like you got 
gotta do what you do, dude. Yeah, you gotta fly off to New Mexico to shoot in plain sight. So what? I'm busy. How do you think it makes me feel that you guys are sitting there going, "We are friends"? No, it's not. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was more like it's this. We are friends. Friends. The city whispers to the skyline. We are friends. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We are friends. Okay. And then down the road and came back. You see okay, what I'm saying? Okay, so let me, can I get a shot, please? And the ending is the best. We are. The, we are. And then yeah, I hit the high and yeah. he goes, little friends. We oh, are speaking up. No, it wasn't really like that. Greg, Greg plays, O'Connor plays this, too. Oh, he does? Oh, yeah, yeah. he does do that, yeah. yeah well, what he's, about- a, he's a musical genius. He's a musical genius, and he taught us how to kind of come in and do the fucking thing. But well, what really shines through that song is our friendship, and that's the most important part. That is part. the most important thing. Yeah. Brian, you can be in the music video. I yeah, don't want to be in, I've done musicals. And we I, need, I, how do you think it makes me feel that we you need guys to delegate. Play? We need to delegate thing, uh, positions. We're, there's definitely room for craft service, a gaffer, kind of a guy yeah. where you can come in and just kind of help us out. Hey, you already got the wife beater to be like uh, head of transport. Hey, hey you guys, move, move the stuff over here. You can do that kind of shit. Hey, who's got that bag of nails, you hey, fuck? Hey, hey, get the, we need a, a flapper I'm or whatever you... I'm getting new friends. <laughs> Gonna find them as soon as I kill these guys. Hey, thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast, for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. Get the app for your devices, and we're on Twitter at 10 Minute Pod, and all this info is at 10MinutePodcast.com. We like you too, Brian. I don't feel good now. I don't feel good now.